This activity asks you to take a phrase and convert it to a mathematical expression. Expressions are mathematical statements that have no equal signs, so we can't solve them until we're even either given an equal value, what the expression equals, or we're given a value for a variable. So for this assignment, we're just converting the words into expressions. The first problem says three times a number minus seven. Three, oh, oops, sorry, I have a pen that works. Three times a number minus seven. Now when we write multiplication in algebraic format, and we're multiplying a number by a variable, the number or the coefficient always goes first. It doesn't matter how it's said in the phrase, it gets written first, and then it's written right next to the variable. There's no operation sign needed. A number next to a variable means that number is getting multiplied by whatever that variable is worth. And then we had seven being taken away. The second one said a number minus seven, then multiplied by three. That phrase is saying that we need to do subtraction before we're doing multiplication. The only way we can change up the order of operations is by using parentheses. So I make my parentheses and it says a number minus seven. So we have a number that is then being minus by seven, then multiplied by three. So this difference is then supposed to be multiplied by three. To do that, we put the three in the front. This sets it up as the distributive property. Even though in the phrase the three came last, we put it at the beginning. So this three could distribute if we need it. The other thing is there is no operation symbol between the three and the parentheses. Any number touching the front of a parenthesis means that number is being multiplied by whatever follows. The third problem says a shirt originally costs C dollars and is on sale for 60% of the original cost. The rule with parentheses is you have to change, sorry, not parentheses, percentages, you have to convert the percentage to its decimal value. So 60% to convert this percent into a decimal, we just start where that decimal would be since that 60 is a whole number and move that forward two places and put the dot in front or the decimal in front. So if I have 0 0.60, that zero holds no value and isn't necessary. So we can actually simplify that and just drop it. So if I have 0.6 and it is 60% of the cost. Whenever you say the word of, it's meaning multiplication. A parenthesis, or I keep saying parenthesis, a percentage has to be paired with a value using multiplication. Otherwise, I'm just saying that that is 0.6 of a dollar, 60 cents. So it's not letting me deal with it correctly. Say that shirt is $10 and I'm paying 60% of that cost. Um, I'm not going to either add 60 cents or take away 60 cents or, or whatever. I have to pair the percentage with that original value, 60% of the cost. Um, and again, the number always comes before the variable, doesn't matter how the order is, is said, and we don't need, some people I've seen do C times 0 0.60. This technically solves the same, but this is the more accurate professional format. Just simplify, this parenthesis is not needed because a number next to the variable means parenthesis, means multiplication. I'm, I'm the, firing on all cylinders here today. Okay, so our number four says the total number of hours worked during D days for persons working seven hours a day. So if you work seven hours a day for an unknown number of days, if I was saying I worked one day, oh, that's seven hours. Oh, I worked another day, it's another seven, another seven. If I worked four days, when I have this repeated addition, it means I can condense it to multiplication. The number of hours I work per day times the number of days I work lets me know my total hours, number before variable. And then the last one says the total amount of pay for working H hours at a wage of $7.25 
per hour. So that means I get paid 7.25 per hour. So 7.25 times the number of hours I work, I work lets me figure out how much I'm going to be earning for that amount of time. So number before variable, number right next to it, no operation symbol in between.